The design of kitchen appliances is always fascinating. They have to be effective, safe, and cheap. Let's take the pressure cooker. Simple and elegant principle. If you heat water and seal the vessel, once enough water has boiled and become water vapor, air pressure increases and prevents more liquid water from becoming vapor. So effectively, the boiling point of water increases. So inside a pressure cooker, water does not boil, at 100 Celsius, boils at 121 Celsius. This allows food to be cooked faster and with less energy. Brilliant device used by hundreds of millions of Indians daily. Just one problem. If the pressure builds up too much, maybe you left it on the stove and forgot about it, it could explode. The pressure cooker is effectively a bomb. So engineers had to figure out how to prevent explosions. They came up with an ingenious system using gravity. So this metal weight with a precise mass sits on top of this valve here. The weight is chosen in such a way that when the pressure inside goes one bar above atmospheric pressure, it is enough to lift the weight against gravity. And that opens the valve, pressure is released and the weight falls back down. But it's hot and humid India. The valve and the weight can get sticky and dirty. And this protection could fail. So engineers built a plan B. When the pressure reaches 1.5 bars and the weight failed to lift, this safety valve is made from a special alloy that melts at that pressure, releasing excess gas and preventing an explosion. Once this happens though, you have to take it to the service center and get it replaced. But then even this can fail. The alloy can melt, but you could still have dirt and grime block the release of gas. So T.T. Jagannathan of T.T.K., who recently passed away, pioneered a third, almost 100% failure-safe safety system for prestige cookers. You see this small hole and this larger slit. When pressure increases beyond a certain dangerous point and both previous safety systems failed, the pressure inside the cooker will push the gasket through the slit. And that will allow excess gas to escape through the smaller hole. 